was, for me, the starting of the sleeping bag project. We went back to the Hope Centre in 2009. Um, there was a call for sleeping bags at the shelter in Bradford. They were talking about sleeping bags which were left at the end of music festivals. Could they be reclaimed and then used? But could there be something else in that sort of process of reclaiming that could be a creative opportunity? came up with lots of different ideas of how we could adapt the sleeping bags. Strong, um, positive feel from it for all of us. It gave us a better understanding of with like the homeless community mm -hmm. in general. For, for me, when I mean, we went to the aftermath, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And it was quite a confusing set of emotions because in one sense you're kind of really grateful, yeah. and then in another sense it kind of seems really strange yeah. that you know it, just down the road that there would be so much waste. They just didn't take any of their stuff. <laughs> like I didn't think. I thought that everyone was still there because it just everyone had just got up and left. Being really conscious of the fact mm. that you are making for someone yeah. or something, whether that's a, a social yeah. cause, and does that have an impact then on how you approach your making? How can I engage with this? Mm. Because it was so shocking. It was such a shocking moment, and mm. it's it's a very emotional moment when you see that waste, like. It's not something you're used to seeing, and I think that's what we were trying to get across when we um, exhibited at the Knitting and Stitching show, to just try and engage people with that experience that you know, there's just so much material and like how that can sort of emotionally affect you. And there's this kind of tacit engagement. Sense and Sensibility is a short, elusive study of the intangible aspects of touch. Of touch defined as the ability to rouse tender or painful feelings within an individual human being. We have people that everyday people walk past and yeah. they don't think anything of that person. Mm -hmm. They just think, oh, it's just a bum or oh, it's just this. And you know, you don't know their life stories and you don't know mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. You think that I was so lucky to kind of work in the way I have and have everything that I've needed and for them to kind of just be out of it. They're like in the of this and yeah, as we feel, and I think that if we don't do anything, who else is going to? And something that you don't see very often a skill that is kind of lost, so it's something that really takes time and care. The power of gifting as equal to, if not greater in importance than, the gift, and the varied ways in which we understand and experience touch. So there's so much you can research into without actually talking to people, taking the sleeping bags to um, the, the homeless shelter, shelter yeah. in was it Harry? Okay, it was in yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, I actually took just taking because we couldn't go inside the house, but just taking it and actually realizing who we were giving it to. Because some of them came to the door and like, thank you so much for all your help. The significance lies within the giving. I understand that craft isn't just about being the aesthetic value of it. It's helped me understand there's a lot of a, a meaning behind what craft can be. And so it sort of seemed almost fitting that the space that one would occupy would almost be to extent as as you were saying because she could sort of invisible sort of like the, the homeless people in a sense you know they, they had that sense that it was like this underground space i think we do or, or everything surrounding us is affected by politics putting the message out there aren't you really still remember like so vividly sitting around with people sat in the sleeping bags mm. to stitch yeah. them in it's a community place, immediately it's a community place. So, so yeah, by sort of putting the sleeping bags and washing them and having them in amongst your own family laundry and washing them and hanging them up, you actually can't help but the community coming through. So they're literally walking through the backyard, you know, where they're sleeping bags. And so you do begin to have that conversation and then people say, oh, what are you doing? Or can I help you? You know, and it's just like this sort of cycle. Quite... Um, aesthetic in it, seeing sleeping bags on a, on a washing line. It is art, but it's an art which is kind of practical. The project is about the process and engaging with this big numbers of physical object. I thought it was really important that they did engage because that is so much about, like, the project is about the process. Because I really wanted them visible. You know, and I felt like it was really important not to hide them away. The project is about inside and outside. It's the understanding of a community that I didn't understand anything about through an actual craft practice. It's kind of also, because it's not only about keeping it going, but it's keeping it relevant. Yeah, material expression through, through acts 
of giving.